The abdominal wall is a complex organ that actually has nine biologically distinct layers to it, but there's one layer that's really important, and that layer is called fascia. A hernia happens when there's an area of weakness, and then you get stress on a weak spot, and over time, it kind of gives way, and there's a discrete hole. The belly button's one area, the groin or another area. Any place you've had an incision from a previous surgery is another area of weakness. Sometimes it can be uncomfortable, it's often a lump that goes away when you lie flat. That's what, essentially what a hernia is, is it's a hole in the, in the shell of the abdominal cavity. Hernias don't have another treatment option besides repair. You either live with it or you fix it. We have shown with data that it is safe to live with certain types of hernias for many, many years. In other words, it's not dangerous to live with them. We choose to fix hernias when they start to become painful, more uncomfortable or when they start to become a certain shape and size where we worry that it might actually pose a threat to your health and you might end up in the emergency room for it. I like to divide hernias into two broad categories. There's kind of the simple, straightforward hernias, and then there's the complex, complicated hernias. I would say most people have a choice with the simple, straightforward hernias. The decision to go ahead with surgery really depends on quality of life. So we're trying to improve your quality of life by patching that hole. Three or four years ago, I got my first hernia. It was just tender. They also discovered I had diastasis recti, which is where the stomach muscles separate and can cause all of these hernias to happen. And so they've decided to fix that as well as the new hernia. During that procedure of fixing that, they did actually discover that there were six more hernias waiting to happen. All of that's now repaired. It's pretty easy recovery. Each day got better and better. By four weeks, I'm back to my normal self. I'm a general surgeon, so I do lots of different types of surgery. But of all the things I do, the developments in hernia surgery have been the most exciting over the last five years. Whereas before we were doing big open surgeries to reconstruct the abdominal wall, we were limited to certain spaces just based on patient anatomy, really painful operations that took a long time to recover from. Now, particularly with the robot, we've started to be able to do those surgeries through three or four tiny little eight millimeter incisions. It's given us the ability to actually dive deeper into the abdominal wall to do other things things that we didn't really even think were possible 20 years ago. So it's kind of an exciting time in hernia surgery in general as those techniques are catching on. It's tremendously beneficial to patients out there. Hernia surgery is not scary like it used to be.